This is a solar inverter and it hasn't been connected to the internet for over a year and it hasn't been reporting data. Today I'm going to be getting a, a new Wi-Fi gateway from solar edge installed on this device in order to reconnect it to the internet i'm going to show you how probably the coolest thing about this too is that you technically can install this as a homeowner i'm not saying that if you're a homeowner you're qualified to be dealing with electricity nobody get hurt here but i'm going to show you how to use it you can actually configure it through the homeowner app from solar edge is what i heard so i'll be trying that out as well to see if that is true or not all right, so I called around to all the electrical supply companies near me, but some of these places stock solar parts. So you can call them call them up, someone local by you, see if they stock solar and see if they'll stock to the public or if you're an electrician or a handyman or whatever, whatever's going on here. Um, see if they'll sell it to you. But I also, I, I'm headed to CED Green Tech in Salt Lake City. Um, it's the one closest to me. I contacted them and they said that they would ship um, these uh, Wi-Fi kits out to people. Um, but I'll have those like in my website um, that you can buy just off my website and we'll ship them out to you if you need them. This is CED Green Tech. All right, let's go pick up this stuff. My favorite person at Green Tech. <laughs> I do my best. All right, I need a Solar Edge uh, gateway. I'm on it. I'm going to grab you one. Cool. Fortress power. Dude, this, is, this thing looks cool. I like how much room there is down here. Damn. Got it. You can get this device, and it is Wi-Fi. It has... A device that plugs into your router, a device that plugs into the inverter, and then you set it up so that it communicates between the two, and then you have an internet connection on your, you know, solar panel system. So a little bit about internet connection and inverters. I highly recommend that all grid tied inverters are connected to the internet. So what happened was a lot of these solar edge in inverters were installed with like a 3G cell kit, and then 3G went was obsolete. And so you may have an inverter with one of these cell kits and it just ran out of data or your cell towers don't support it or whatever's going on there. So that is now garbage. I'm going to be installing this kit and showing you how it works and everything. Um, but you do also have the option of hardwiring your inverter. If your router is close to the inverter, it could be easy to run a long ethernet cable and just plug it together and that would work as well for getting your system connected to the internet plugs into a port on the top case of this inverter so the first thing you want to do is actually turn this toggle um, the, to this direction then you're going to start seeing a red light um, when that red light stops, uh, stops flashing, that means the voltage has been drained out of the solar panels on the roof and this inverter. So it is dangerous opening these up and working on them. Um, so make sure you're an electrician, you know what you're doing. Um, but uh, that'll drain the capacitors. Do not turn it off until you press that switch over and you see a green light. So once that's drained, then you can disconnect the inverter off here and turn off the breaker, the AC breaker. like a four millimeter always hand loosen and then use a drill got the old cell kit right here that's going to be removed wi-fi is going to twist onto that guy there remember dc conductors are live ac conductors are live be careful working on this it feeds through there comes down through here you can push it in these clips here and then comes outside uh, either this guy or this guy and then you can feed it up and it, the clips will slip on the frame there
So I wanted to see if it would automatically uh, connect to Wi-Fi. Um, it says uh, server comms detecting cellular, which is not the case. So I think I actually needs to go into site communications and then i'm going to need to go to uh wi-fi and then connect to solar edge wireless gateway the next steps we will be requested to scan the qr code got it scan the qr code when you go through the steps and configure it you want to make sure you get something called the sok see data sok check mark checks all the way down one other thing there is an app called my solar ed actual app that the homeowner has access to i was curious to see if like homeowners could actually swap these out and you didn't need an actual solar edge inverter account i think if you go to inverter status on here you can do the same process where you scan the qr code click continue connect to the device and there production, lifetime, status. And then you could go down here to configure Wi-Fi. Oh, sweet. And you can, you can actually set this up from the homeowner's app on here. So yeah, you go to connect to inverter, toggle that over, scan the QR code, and then just configure Wi-Fi. That's really it, connected to the Wi-Fi and done.